All right, we're going to, uh, today you're going to make this uh, whistle here out of, with a 3D printer software called Inventor. You see the word Inventor 2016 right here. So we're using that program right there. You have already, I should have made this whistle already and uh, out of wood and it should have worked. Let me see. Well, this one does work here. Okay, now you have to make it. <clears throat> I don't care about being work, uh, it working here, but the idea behind this model here is to get you an idea of creating an object in a 2D plane and then uh, extruding it into a 3D model like this right here. This is the same one right here, right here. So these same whistles, one is made out of uh, extruded plastic, and this one is made out of wood that you made in the back uh, right out here in the lab. So. Right out here, we're going to, uh, like I said, find a computer that has this icon right here. You can team up in uh, groups of two, but each of you do not copy, don't copy the uh, software, I mean the, the model into your name. I want you to completely log off and log back on under your name after you have them learn that procedure. So you will have the skills necessary. Copying you is not a skill. All right, so I'm going to sit off to the side here. Let me see if I can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and log on here. I'm going to start off to the side here. I'm going to log on here. I'm going to click this icon right here. And uh, this should come up. You should see, you should see this right here coming up now. We're going to get rid of this right here. We're going to get rid of that. And uh, we're going to get rid of this also. We don't need that. We're going to start from scratch here. So, first thing you do is we're going to start with the, the uh, new here. Look over here in the upper right corner. You see the word new. So, we're going to click on the word new. And then this pops up right here. So we're going to choose standard IPT. We're going to choose standard IPT, which is somewhere right there. Standard IPT. So you're going to choose standard IPT. We're waiting for the 3D screen to appear. It's going to appear. The axis, X, Y, and Z axis should appear shortly. After you, no, after you choose three uh, IP, IPT, you're going to come right here now. And you're going to choose, up in the upper left, it says start 2D sketch in the upper left corner. So we're going to click there. Start 2D sketch right there. And then this is your... This is, these are the planes that you will draw in. But if we're going to first start with the, uh, you see there, these are the planes. You'll see this pop up there. We're going to, we're going to uh, choose the, uh, the XY plane. See right there. Now the drop down menu there where you can, if you, Drawing in different dimensions, see, but that's the XY plane. You see the XZ plane. But well, we're going to choose the XY plane, or you can just move the mouse around there. And you see it pop up there, XY plane. So double click there, and that's your XY plane. If you take any sort of math or geometry, you'll see that you have an X and a Y axis. If you look across the top of the screen there, you see a lot of commands. These are the commands in the sketch mode. So my first command in the sketch mode will be, we're going to draw a simple rectangle. See it right there? So we double click or click on that rectangle. <coughs> click on the rectangle and then bring it out here into the, this axis right there. There's a the mouse right there. 
and you can just put in the dimensions for the uh, now let's just click and drag on the rectangle here so I'm going to click here and just make a rectangle it doesn't matter what the dimensions are at this point because we're going to use a command called dimensions and put the dimensions in the rectangle so right there so look up there in your toolbar and you see a word called dimension right there so you can click on that dimension there and uh, click the line and drag the line out to the right or left and dimension your uh, project alright the, the full so by our standards were we're going to draw the side view the side view the side view was three-fourths of an inch wide so this this is the side view I want to take this dimension I'm going to click on the dimension up here click on the line and make this and then click on that number there and change it to 3 over 4. And then check the little green arrow, the green check mark. It disappears. So there's a command over here on the right side with a on the right side, you see it moved. So we we'll go over here to the little, little palm up here's a command over here. Little hand right there. So grab that hand and you can pull your drawing back down to center. Okay, so we got that dimension in there. So we're going to do the other dimension. So click on dimension and uh, click the uh, right line, and you will see that. And then change that to three because the length of our the height was three inches high. So we click on dimension again and click the line. It, it'll turn white. Click the line, drag it, then it turns blue, and then you drag it out to the right side and change that to type in three there and then check the little green arrow there you have and then roll, roll the mouse wheel inward and you can see that you have your dimensions three by uh, three by seven Point seven five. So you got three inches there, point seven five there. Okay. Now some of you just have been drawing bird beaks in there, but you need to know exactly where to draw that bird beak exactly. So to do that, you have to look at your uh, look at your side view. A front view here and see that this bird beak is three fourths of an inch down. It's three fourths of an inch down, right here, three fourths, and five sixteenths inch back, right here, five sixteenths inch back, and three fourths of an inch down. Three fourths of an inch down, and five sixteenths inch backwards. So, what you need to do is draw your line at uh, three fourths of an inch here. And also, it's three fourths of an inch opening here. This bird bee should be three fourths of an inch down, five inch, uh, five sixteenths of an inch back, and its opening here is five sixteenths. So we got three dimensions right here. So, what I'm, what I'm going to do is draw three lines here: one here, one here, and one vertical line. So you go to your line tool over here, see the word line? So click on line right there, and then go back to your drawing. Right there. I'm going to click on line tool, go back to my drawing, and draw those three lines. Now, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on line two. Where's line two? And I'm going to just, I'm just going to draw a line across here. From this point to that point right there. All right, that's just one line. Okay, I'm going to draw another line right here to there, right there. And I'm going to draw a vertical line right here to right there. There's my three lines. Now I've got to dimension them correctly here. You can see. The spacing between, between the, uh, this line here and this line at the top line in this first line is three-fourths of an inch. So I'm going to go to the dimensions here and, and put them from here to there should be 0.75. Zero in on that so we can see better. See? Okay, it's good. Okay, it worked there. Okay. Alright, the uh, the distance between the the gap here is uh five sixteen, so I'm gonna go dimension again and go from here. To here is 516, so I'm going to put 5 over 16. So that's the, uh, uh, that's the spacing of the gap on the front view. On the front view here, that gap right there, see it's 516 right there. And it, okay. Now it says the, the 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 bird beat goes backwards into the wood by five sixteenths too. So this distance from here to here should be five sixteenths also. So I'm gonna go distance from uh, this point to that point should be uh, five six uh, over constraint. I said okay five sixteenths. All right. Now I need to cut my bird beak in here. I'll draw a line. But you line to your bird beak will be from from here to there. All right. What I need to do next is a, there's a command called trim to get rid of everything I don't need. And the word trim is up there, right above. To the right up here. Trim is up here somewhere. See the word trim right there under get started? So we click on the word trim and then come back down here and trim out everything we don't need. So we're going to click on trim and we don't need that line there. We don't need that there. We don't need this here. We don't need that. We don't need, we don't need that. So that's my bird beat right there. So when you do all, when you finish all your drawing here, you hit a big green arrow up to the upper right. Called upper right up here is a big green arrow. It says finish sketch. So we're gonna click on that, and drawing disappeared. So we're gonna bring it back down here. Roll your mouse inward a little bit. Look. Roll your mouse in and out to get it uh, where you want it. There. So we finished our sketch there. We got an over constraint line there on a bird beak, but that will hope you don't cause too much of a problem. But that's what we end up with. So we're going to see if we can. Uh, there's another command over to the left called uh, extrude. That's where you convert this plane right here, or this single, this 2D drawing, into a 3D drawing. So let's see up here. You see in the corner here, you got extrude right there. So click on that, and then you choose your, your surface there. Whoops. Who went too far back? 
and we're going to screw this thing 1.5 inches because that is the width of your whistle right here see this is what we're looking at right there we're looking at that now we need to extrude it this width right here put your ruler across here you see about one and a half inches here okay so we're going to screw this either way one and a half inches it gives you which it tells you you can extrude it right left up or whatever okay we're going to click on the screw here click on the surface see it okay now you can type in right there uh, 1.5 Okay, and you can uh, rotate it using the little icon to the upper right corner and see there's, there's your whistle there. Looks just like this right here. Alright, but it doesn't have the holes in it. Alright, looks just like this right here out of wood. It looks like one of those Easter Island uh, uh, stone, stone hints. What a creature. Easter Island, those faces on Easter Island. Okay? Alright, now. So we're gonna, we need to draw the holes in here. I'm just rotating this thing around here so you get a view. Ro ro rotate this thing around. Okay, we're gonna draw the holes here at, on the top. Right there. Okay, see the, when I, when I put the mouse up here, you see that plane up here? When you see that, that means you can uh, uh, draw on that surface. So, you can, this is the face here, so what we're going to do is that we're going to right click on this face here, right click, and we're going to select new sketch. When you select new sketch, that means you can draw on this surface here. There, move it up front here, there. So, and that line right there is this line where we're going to cut our circle, draw our circles. See there? Right there. So we create a new sketch on that line. So, uh, those circles are Those circles are on a I don't show the center line. Well you create I want you to determine the spacing of these circles right now, but they're that on my drawing here, I don't show the center line for those circles. But you can evenly space those circles here by just by sight this right now. So we're gonna go to circle right here and we're just gonna place one on this line here. That's, that's the dividing line on the front view. That's that line you see right there looking through for the top. So I'll put a circle right here. Let's uh, put that circle, let's say, over a half inch, okay? So let me draw a line here and put a, and put a line from here. there all right and escape and let's dimension that line one half inch over from here to here go up let's change that to point five okay and it'll hit right there okay and let's come over here draw uh draw another line uh oh can I see that all right, you can see that. Now draw another line from here to here. All right, and let's dimension that distance from the edge also. 
uh, let's go, where's dimension? Click on dimension up here, and we're going to space that distance from here to there at 0.5 also. Point five. That means that those circles are equally spaced from the, from the what? Edges. All right, now, here's, here's the line here. So we're going to, that point where the intersect, the vertical lines is where our center, our circles will be. So let's go to circle here and find an intersection point right there. And, and we can type in 5 over 16 as the diameter, no, 3 eighths as the diameter of, this, of, the, of that circle. So type in 3 over 8 and hit the OK. Enter. Pierre Strong. Uh, in the building, please come to the main office. Pierre Strong.